everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and well, let's play some control. So, I need to go find this singing custodian. And I thought before I do that, let's just, just double check and make sure that we didn't get any new documents. Now, before I get into it, I do want to just say, number one, I really appreciate um, Rick's commentary as he's helping me understand and put all the loose ends together in the game and, and propose some interesting theories that have been helpful. And I've been talking with my uh, real-life friend Tyler about the game who uh, I believe he recently just beat it. And I didn't know this, but that this is made from the same company and the same writer as Alan Wake. So, like, my initial impressions of, oh, this feels like Alan Wake, um, are uh, the, the influence, the lineage is there, and that's awesome. Uh, so that's, that's terrific to kind of connect those supernatural kind of games. And so Rick was giving this interesting theory about these documents because you see here that this is a collectible it's a piece of paper that i got somewhere in the oldest house and yet it's been compiled by emily pope while i am the director and i have ordered it um so you know i guess it's possible that emily is working in the boardroom and is churning out copy and that agents are distributing this throughout the house but there seems to be some kind of time problem with that and it's a question of like did is it are these documents from a future jesse faden meant to be left to inform the past jesse faden um or for our purposes the present jesse and then the redacted statements have been redacted in fact by either emily or jesse in order to shield them from information that they're not ready to see. I don't know, um, but it's really interesting stuff to think about. So this is a analysis of the His Threat, Part 1. And it's confidential, but luckily I'm the director, so I can read this. Summary. Initial encounters with the entity known as the His have revealed various behavioral facts, most notably... The Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption, which we already talked about the timing of that, Emily and I, so that makes sense. But the business of how the Hiss can corrupt control points, um, you know, is that a surprise? Like, I thought the control points were all throughout the oldest house meant to secure areas of this facility that have been claimed and explored by Bureau agents. But I, I guess I'm wrong about that. You know, maybe it's those are only, um, or maybe they were, and they could never be corrupted. They were never able to be undone until the hiss came along. That's possible, I guess. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Fadden, who, Faden, I guess, who possesses an inherently, uh, inherent immunity to his. Thank goodness. This could indicate that she's already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of her other hiss uh, that I have dismissed the theory. Right. Good. I'm glad she's dismissed that. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material and organisms of the his corruption we tested this ability on a his corrupted entity but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host yeah we just killed somebody perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the his more work to be done refer to file redacted for full report and so perhaps this is a file that was created in the future that has not yet been made available to the present if that makes sense um para utility Examination of paranatural topics, objects of power, and their para-utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians, like me. 
The potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the blank object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank while others are only capable of as little as blank. So this must be the disc, the floppy disc. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it's largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. So we're looking for somebody named Northmore. Now this was done, though, um, by order of Casper Darling. So I don't know if this is old or, I mean, it, it, it's obviously before my time as director, I think, but is it like the last few weeks or is it like, you know, months or years? I don't know. Um, here's some correspondence. What do we got? Bureau funding. To all executive staff, I know there's some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Wow, they're just taking throwing real shade at accountants here. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. That's good. So let's get crazy with the budget then. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. And this is from uh, Trench. Okay. Got some more hotline stuff, apparently. Oh, cool. These are the countermeasures. I'd like to see this. We are at war, hostile takeover. The hiss is the opposing force, foreign power. We will provide countermeasures, strategy, except ingest them at control points. These countermeasures missions will benefit you. We will give resource rewards for each completed countermeasure. Okay, so this is actually just a comment that Rick was leaving recently, which is that the board appears and speaks to us i don't know if appears is the right word but it speaks to us when we go to those like very bizarre training scenarios um and it's the inverted pyramid so it seems to be some kind of like ai or supernatural entity or both i don't know just based on the way it speaks all right so let's go uh to the maintenance sector like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Very friendly. He's got his Walkman. Working it. All right. So there's who I speak to. That is the geometrical pattern that's in my head. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. Yep. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. Interesting. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Well, that's a great question. We're going to find out. Oh boy, look at this chair. This is pretty funny. So somebody was set up here to work at this circuit breaker or whatever was in this power box. They had a toolbox and they brought like a coffee mug. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, well, first of all, this machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning, so that's pretty dangerous. But I don't know if we should have the coffee close to this. Uh, but maybe this was a really skilled person. Um, anyway, I'm not... who am I to question their work behavior? I like to look around, and if that means I gotta throw some barrels, then I will. I just like throwing the barrels. All right, so this is locked, and this, 
you know, playing games for as long as I have been, you always notice these as this is a shortcut that I will unlock from the other side, most probably, at some point to facilitate the elevator and bring it all full circle. I'll come back and I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is where I started and everything will feel great. Or it's a secret that I can easily access to get something that's behind this great if I look around, but I don't know. Anyway, NSC control room. Okay. Let's just tread down here and... Oh. Oh. That's a big screwdriver. Good. I'm glad that's there. Alright. So, this goes up considerably. And it looks like it is some HVAC along with uh, pneumatic tubes. And then also... I like that I can just pull that valve off. I don't know what purpose that does, but I was just looking around and it that valve highlighted like to indicate you can rip that off. So that's kind of cool. This one is too. So you've got the pneumatic tubes as well as gas and other bits of plumbing coming through this nexus. This looks like a very charming place to work. Um, wow. There's just an assortment of tools left around here. This drill looks nice. I could probably sell that on the street for some money. And there's a lot of coffee drinkers here that leave their stuff in just very precarious places. Yeah. That's a serious phone. Okay. Um... Now, let me look on the map. Where am I? I am currently at the access corridor. Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff scrawled off the map. So I could go this way. Now, when you see red, you're dead, as they say. Um, this requires clearance level 2, which... That's above my pay grade. I am the director, but I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, look, they've got some kegs here. Looks like uh, they were having a good time. I'm just joking. These aren't what I think they are. are or they could be. I mean, they're. it's probably some much more volatile component. But either way, we look like we have to go through the red area. So let's do that. Um, all right, so here we are. And the janitor's office is this way. So let's go talk to Ati. Here's another locked door. It's hopefully a shortcut. The directorial override is right there. In the control room. How do we get there? I don't know. But that's what we're going to talk to Ati about. Alright. There's a lot of... Now see, look. Um, are they wearing... No... Are these, like, paratroopers? They look like, for a second, I thought they were wearing the special device. But no, that's just their, like, parachute or whatever. This is a very nice poured concrete facility. I believe it was designed by Le Corbusier. I'm very pleased to get to admire his handiwork up close. All right. Uh, that's the number two bad guy. And glowing just how the hiss like to glow. Here, have that. Oh. You're not supposed to do that with my stuff. Oh, boy. Here, have that. Whoa. Okay, then. Here, bump, bump. Um, ritual impulse. That's interesting. Here, just have that. And then, which gun am I using? Uh, how do I change guns? There we go. 
I want the uh, shotgun. I'm just gonna run through. Oh, there's a control point here, cool. Here, you can have that barrel, and then looks like we're gonna clear the control point. Yeah, I was joking my, with my buddy Tyler about this, which is that like, I love Alan Wake. I love the setting in Alan Wake. I love the writing in Alan Wake, but I don't care for the flashlight combat very much. This game um, has way better combat. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, cleanse it. Oh. That's a serious cleansing posture she's got there. It's kind of like a prayer. Whoa. I love how the oldest house shifts out of the way that it's modular. It's so cool. You can see the blocks, like, just kind of folding away. It's awesome. All right. Now we're doing really well. I thought this was a laptop for a second. I was like, no, no. We can't have laptops. Um, I got an asset, which is this rich uh, conceptual material ritual impulse which does appear new now I did watch that briefing um, from the hotline about board countermeasures and you can see these are the countermeasures that I have equipped right now or accepted um, but it says kill enemies with your service weapon in spin mode um, but I don't think I have spin mode yet using spin I don't think I have spin and then surge mode. I don't even know if I have surge. What weapons do I have? I have shatter and I have grip. So I can't unfortunately complete the accepted countermeasures until I get new service weapons. So anyway, just something to think about. Uh, okay. Now this is a much more organized space where they've put their tools. I'm really happy that they got themselves together and that a government facility like this has f folding plastic tables. That's, that's so charming. They've spared no expense. Oh boy, all right. Um, let's just hide and oh God, that's not the right button. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to our other mode because um, the shotgun, while good, I'm sure the range isn't as pleasing. There's a baddie under there. Um, I'm just gonna drop that and let's see. Anybody else bad around here? Yep. There's one. Okay, let's run. I'm gonna change guns and let's get crazy. Aw oh, man. There you go. I'm gonna recharge my stuff and let's see. Where's the baddies? There's one. Wow. Gotta get a little closer with that gun. That's fine. Alright. And here's one. Although that gun. That time, don't even need to aim when you're really, really close with this spread shot. It's great. All right, where are you? You are there. Hi. All right. I think we've uh, taken care of enough baddies. Feels good. Let's see. Okay. Well, we're in the bowels. Wow, this is a really well protected machine. Now, the uh, concrete is starting to have some issues here. Boy, and this looks like a structural pylon. I'm slightly alarmed. Not gonna lie.
All right, this is fragile. Handle with care. All right. So I think when I see something that's fragile, I just use my melee. And, uh, yeah. That's how we treat fragile stuff when we're the director. We make the rules. Everything fragile will be broken. Now, this looks suspicious. All right, fine. I was trying to avoid this. This looks terrifying, like some kind of spore cloud. Um, let me just give it some juice with this. I don't know. Good. It's kind of the result that I was expecting. Um, the ground doesn't look good. I'm not going to go over that right now. I'm going to look around further. This is where I came from. So let's just go this way. And we can go in here. Oh. Oh, no. It's just telling me I can just rip out the wall if I do that, I guess. Okay, let's look around. Here's a treasure. This is what I'm talking about. And we got a threshold remnant material. Okay. Sounds like something we probably want. Now, I didn't go up here before. What's down that way? I don't know, but it's flashing red, which is always a good sign. This is locked. Oh, I'm hearing some singing to the janitor's office. Wow, is that a poster of Ati? What kind of superstar celebrity is this guy? Sure looks like him. There he is. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Uh-huh. Yippee, Sadama. It happened in the last drop. Whiskey? I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. Okay. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Well, let's take a Only demotion. Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Uh oh. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. You got like a side quest here, dude? Uh, yeah, hi, uh, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. There's a dog? That's why you are made a great assistant. I could use a dog. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Namagnas no perkele suoraan, but this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. It does. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And okay. the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Is that trying my best to keep up with this? Fix the coolant. We don't want farts. And the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Like a fart. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. Thanks, dude. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Oh. Vacation. Right. Vacation. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. Yep. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. 
Okay, well, yep, now we're all clear. Great. Well, Ati's just helping us out, helping us along. Um, what is this all about? So, what a mess. Yep. Burn the trash. Burn the trash. Burn the trash. Throw it in the fire. Burn the trash Burn around the furnace. All. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. That's a good distinction. It's important to, you know, spell out your objectives for your employees so that they perform the task satisfactorily. Oh, look at this. Boy, that landscape looks familiar. It looks very Alan Wakey. Travel to Finland. I will. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Oh, don't say that, man. His life is in your hands. He specifically told me to say that. All right. So that room is like that. And then you can't use your gun when you're around Ati. Ooh, his poster's all gone. Is he going to be... No, he's still there. Okay, I was going to say, is he? did he disappear? He's there. All right, so we need to burn the trash. And the trash is located actually pretty far away. Um, around the furnace. I don't even know if I've ever been to the furnace, but that looks like a place we'll go. And we will head that way. I don't, um, I'm gonna look at my quests really quickly. Uh, missions. And so I've got my countermeasures. I have mission briefings. And so I have two. So these are just considered both to be main quests. There's not even like a third. There's, there's mission briefings, and then there's board countermeasures, but there's not like a third side quest thing. So that it looks like I have to do this trash thing, which is fine. I want to burn trash just like everybody else. All right, everybody. I think this is a great place to end the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Control. Take care.